Right, you all then, guys. Welcome once again to video number 20, and this is going to be a review of the Orgvape Merlin RDTA. This is the cylindrical container that it comes in. Now, this device for me has been really, really good. Really, really good. Uh, you get plenty of vapor production, plenty of flavor with the Ace Kennedy style airflows there. Now the deck is kind of like kind of like velocity posts, but you get these huge, humongous post holes there with the absolutely massive screws in there. So it gives you the capability to when you're putting your coil eggs in to cross them over as they go in, which is what I like to do when I'm uh, putting coils into post. I like to cross the legs over. Now you can put them in side by side because you have got long enough screws to clamp them down, but I do like to cross them over in each post just like that. So they cross over each other. I, that's how, it's just how I like building. Now, if you can see in there, let me get a good view there. I see in the center but there, that's where you've got your center filling station. Now in there, um, it's kind of like the uh, how can I say, kind of like the the Cthulhu Gaia or the Revolver um, Mech and RDTA kit. We've got the center filling uh, post there. Now what what this does is you put you put your juice in from the top and where you you squeeze it in, you fill it, and you get like a compressed air inside the tank. So you you just get your your, your cotton whip legs. Say, say the glass ends by there. Now you cut your legs off there, so they're just poking through a little bit into the tank. And with that, with the compression of the air built in where you're filling it through the center of the deck, um, it kind of gives you like a constant uh, wick with your cotton is constantly juiced right up until you get to about half of a tank or just under half a tank. And then you have to, of course, do the tip tip in and re in as you normally would do on an RDTA with a tank at the bottom anyway. Um, now let me take a quick vape of this for you guys. Now we will be going into a close-up as I do on all my devices that need a build on there. So I can show you how easy it is, whatever. Now I do speed it up so the videos ain't as long, but if you do wish to see a uh, build tutorial on this particular device just drop a comment down below and I'll be happy to do one for you um, so let's take a quick vape now as you can see plenty of vapor production really dense really thick thick clouds but you also get absolutely fantastic flavor with this device now as I've said in my live stream that I did on the on the, my new Facebook group, Vapes as Paradise, um, it doesn't quite rank up to the Medusa or the Cthulhu Gaia for flavor, but it is better for vapor production and uh, overall easiness, accessibility, and so on and so forth. This does win. Just the Gaia and the Medusa take over for flavor. So, but for an all all in all device, vapor production plus flavor, this has been a really, really good device. Now, let me show you uh, the, the box. No, I, actually, I'll wait for the close-ups to do that because I'll strip it down. I'll show you the contents of the box, the, the kit that you get with it, the space, the accessories, so on and so forth. So, Without any further ado, let's head down below and we'll strip it down for you. Here we go, guys. Right, so here we are down in the close ups. So here's the box there. Uh, let me just get a close up for you so you can read the box properly. 
don't think you're going to get quite a good view on there because of the lighting situation. Now it is night time and I'm going off my living room lights so it's not going to be very good. There you go. 304 stainless steel peak insulator boros, sil boros silicate glass 2 capacity 3.5 mil height 48.5 millimeters diameter 24 millimeters easy to wick and refill elegant hollowed out logo delrin top cap and drip tip now contents of the box are you take the top part out in the side there you get your Phillips screwdriver then lower down in the glass in the box then you get your spare glass for the tank for your 3.5 mil tank and you also get now if you can see there and that's no not quite there we go look now you can see the size of these screws they're gigantic they're really really big which is good which is good if you like to put your coils in side by side but like i said i like to put my coils in crossing over each other now you get two spare screws and you get one two three four spare o-rings and you get this little o-ring there also which i will show you what it is used for when i strip the device down so let's put all this back in there and now let's get to stripping the device now you can obviously screw off the Delrin drip tip now this is what's kind of special about this device as well if you look in the, the top of the drip tip you have this which is acts kind of as a splashback uh, blocker so you don't get any juice splashing up into your chops when you take in a vape and also if you look at the bottom of this you see the o-ring you got there at the bottom now what that is used for where you fill your tank up in the center there and then you got this screwed into the drip tip when you place that back on that stops there it stops the juice from coming back up that well where you fill the juice in so that's an absolutely fantastic idea there by uh, Orgvit. You can't fault them there. And the design, the aesthetics you get on this device. Now, I mean, look how stunning that is. Absolutely gorgeous looking device. With the gold plated there. You can get a rose gold and you can get stainless steel. Now, I've gone for the gold and black on the cap. Now, uh with this rose gold and the stainless steel let's try and get into there better there you go now on the on the rose gold and the stainless steel this logo there is etched into the into the device but here if you go for the black with like the the, the black paint like convex coating type of thing there it's painted on it's added it's not etched in that's the only issue with the black, but I love the look of this black. I absolutely think it's absolutely stunning. Really can't go wrong. And on the top there, if you see, you've got your Phillips. Let me just get in there for you. There you go. You've got your Phillips screws there. And in the side there, you've got your Cyclops airflow, Kennedy style airflow. And I will strip this down for you now so I can show you. The mechanics of the device now it is machined really really well i got no no bad points to say about this device there's plenty of space to work around when you're putting your coils in so you don't have to worry about it touching the outer casings of the device and shorting and so on because you've got loads of space to work with absolutely brilliant now these are new coils i've only i'm long made them today so i could show you in the live but i will be now taking it apart and i will do a fresh build for you i just want to do this so i can show you 
the device and how it works and so on and so forth now the if you can see there you go look now you got your cyclops bit for there and it's kind of like a kennedy style airflow but the, again on the top there you got the kennedy style bit there but then this is what's different with the kennedy you get your two holes uh, to which which you hobby your coils about with this it's like another cyclops style opening on the airflow and it with that bottom feeding airflow that's where flavor production happens and also the in the space you get between your coils and your chimney at the drip tip so there's not if there's not much travel in there that also helps with the flavor so what i'm going to do now guys um we go into go into the third part of the video where I do a build for you just to show you how easy and how accessible and just how fuss free it is to build on this device. I will be speeded up, like I've said to you in the previous part. If you do wish to see a real time build tutorial, then I will do. Just drop it in the comments, and I will surely do that for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the build. So there we are, and here we are, back up on top. Now, right, you've seen the build that I did for there, how easy and how stress-free, fuss-free, fuss-free fuss that it is. Now, I don't know if you could tell in the notice, but I did get myself a little bit of a boo-boo on my thumb <laughs> when I was cutting the coil legs and one poked me in the finger over there, but accidents happen, but just be very careful when uh, cutting those coil legs. But I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill this up for you to show you how easy and, uh, and accessible it is to refill. Now, obviously, I'm using a bit of Mr. Andrew Sharp or Smurf's blood but there. Always go back to this stuff because it's absolutely stunning. Now, here we go. Look, we just pop that directly in there and bang, and away we go. See that filling up? As easy as that. That's all it takes that simple and it's done and there it is in all its blooming glory now beforehand in this I went for a 0.2 build this time I've gone for my usual 8 wrap dual coil 24 gauge NI80 wire just to see the differences that it does give to me so I'm gonna pop the cap back on but there now
Let's get that back on. Pop that right. And there she is. Let's take a quick vape. Still, absolutely gorgeous. And plenty of vapor production, clouds for days. And with those candy style airflows, obviously you know you're gonna get flavor. I'm I'm absolutely gobsmacked by it. Um I've been really surprised. Um, because what what have I had now? I've had the uh the avocado 24 RDTA, I've also had the um the the Azeroth and I'd say this is up there with them too. Level pegging with them too. Not as good as the Gaia or the Medusa for flavor, but it's definitely, definitely on par with the Azeroth and the Avocado 24. Um, I'm sure you've seen from previous live streams and previous reviews, the Avocado and the Azeroth were my top two RDTAs until, of course, the Gaia and the Medusa came along. They are joint, they are joint first, but in joint second is three devices, and that's the Avocado 24, the Azeroth, and now the Orgvip Mini RDTA. It's been absolutely brilliant, and it is getting from me a, a tremendous recommendation, a really good recommendation. It's absolutely worth the dollar that you pay. Now, let me just get into the specs of this device for you. Uh, was it to the Org Vape Merlin? There it is. Now on Vapenology website, www.vapenology.co.uk, I will be dropping the links down in the description after. So they are 33 pounds and 49 pence. Now, of course, if you're a member of my new Facebook group, Vapesters Paradise, there is a discount code and they are an approved vendor. So head on over to my group and join up. Plenty of live streams going on there. So now this, uh, the RDTA Extras comes with Cotton Bacon V2.0 by Wickham Vape for an extra £4.50. Eight times Geek Vape pre-built pre fuse Clapton coils for an extra £7.50. Eight Geek Vape pre-built framed staple coils for an extra £7.50. They do come in three different colours. As you've seen, I've got the black and gold. Uh, they do come in rose gold. Uh, black and gold is what I've got, and silver stainless steel. Now, the specs of this. It is a 304 stainless steel, which is, of course, the, the cap there, and the metal in this is stainless steel. The diameter of the device is 24 millimeters. The height of the device is 48.5 millimeters. The capacity of the tank is 3.5 millimeters. Uh, you've got a Delrin top cap and drip tip, which I showed you down in the first part of the close-up. Um, it's got a peak insulator, a borosilicate glass tube, elegant hollowed out logo, easy to whip and refill. And there we have it, guys, in all its blimming glory. Absolutely fantastic. I cannot, um, I cannot find any cons to this device at all because there isn't any maybe it's not as good as i've said as the medusa or the gaia but there's nothing bad about it really you've got plenty of space to work around to build your coils to get and i recommend always to with the kennedy style airflow especially have your coils hovering about three millimeters above the air hole the cyclops air hole that you get in the device on the deck um, absolutely emphasizes the flavor spectacularly. Um, but yeah, plenty of space to work around. Some absolutely brilliant points that Orgvape have added to this device. I mean, the look of it is just beautiful. Look at that, it absolutely looks stunning, especially sitting on top of my Minic in there. That just goes, that's a match made in heaven. Um, so yeah, and I think it's a nine millimeter drip bore at the top there. So there we go. So and, and there we are, guys. It does get a fantastic recommendation from me. I recommend you head on over to the Vapenology website, 
and definitely purchase yourself one of these. For me personally, it's been absolutely fantastic. So there we go, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been video number 20 of the Org Vape Merlin RDTA from vapenology.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Please subscribe to Welsh Vapesters, like and share the video.